But the majority of a police officer's job happens inside their patrol car. But have you ever wondered how officers train to handle high speed chases and dangerous maneuvers? Fox 13 News reporter Spencer Joseph rode along as cadets with the Salt Lake City Police Department wrap up a week of training on how to best protect and serve from behind the wheel. At a hidden training course in Utah County, Salt Lake City police recruits are gassing up and filling up their tires, all ready for a day of speed and agility. Today we're here on the EVO course. It stands for Emergency Vehicle Operations. So we're just learning how to safely operate a vehicle because that's 90% of our job as police officers. Single lane change, 45 miles an hour. 45. This is Jay Fuel. He's one of those taking on the challenges. For this exercise, first they accelerate to 45 miles an hour. The instructor calls out a turn at the last second. And their job is to keep the speed steady. 44, 45. Oh, not the easiest task. So they all support each other. The brotherhood or sisterhood, just the family aspect of police is one of the reasons why I joined. You know, my class is, they're my best friends. I would consider them family at this point extremely important so this week we'll spend at least 40 hours out here where they are driving these cars the whole time in different situations and a lot of them struggle it's a very stressful time for them Eric Kirkman is one of those overseeing the training as a police officer you spend you know if you work a 10-hour shift you spend probably seven to eight hours of those of that day in your car so you can see why it's important but agility is only part of it slower speed and then slowly we got faster at that faster at that and then we went to the track as you see the cadets racing around right now They're reaching speeds anywhere out on this track from 80 to 85 miles an hour recruits are also taking to the track hitting marks in order to learn how to drive at high speeds so not all of our calls are going to be the extreme calls where we have to chase someone down um, a lot of our calls are going to be someone that just needs help simply needs help and we have to get there in a safe manner so as the tires keep squealing and the speeds keep climbing we're not driving fast just because we can drive fast. That's not the case. It's all for the people of Salt Lake City who might one day need an officer as fast as possible. We all want to be police officers because we want to serve and protect the community. Spencer Joseph. We're trying to get there to help people and we're trying to teach these recruits how to do it as safely as possible. Fox 13 News. We got to get there as fast as we can so we can help those people. Utah.